Good evening. This is Agashwani Kohima. I am Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi asserts that his government has been solely guided by motto of First India First. Prime Minister Modi urges National Democratic Alliance MPs to uphold the pr- principles of parliamentary democracy. Chief Justice of India emphasizes core values of justice and equality as foundational principles of judiciary. And Woka Police organizes awareness seminar on the new criminal laws for police javans. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today asserted that his government has been solely guided by the motto of India First and its policy of zero tolerance against corruption has received people's support in the recent looks of polls. He said his government has followed a policy of justice for all and appeasement to none. Modi stated this while replying in the Lok Sabha on the motion of thanks to the President Draupadi Murmu's address to the joint sitting of both the houses. He praised the people of the country for showing maturity and wisdom in the general election. Modi added that people have trusted the policies, intent and dedication of his government and as a reason voted the NDA back to power for a third consecutive term. The Prime Minister said his government has been working with the mantra of Sapka Saad, Sapka Vikas. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today urged NDA members of Parliament to adhere to the rules of Parliament, uphold the principles of parliamentary democracy and exhibit good conduct, which he said is essential for being a good MP. Modi stated this while addressing the NDA Parliamentary Party meeting in New Delhi this morning. This was the first meeting of NDA since the formation of the new government. Briefing media after the meeting, Parliamentary Affairs Minister Giren Rejiju informed that a Prime Minister guided all NDA MPs on proper conduct. He conveyed that the Prime Minister also emphasised that every MP has been elected to serve the country and regardless of the party they belong to, service to the nation is their foremost responsibility. Rijiju said the Prime Minister also encouraged MPs to develop expertise in issues of their interest, such as water, the environment and social sectors. Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chanterchut today emphasised the goal values of justice and equality as the foundational principles of judiciary. Addressing the foundation stone laying ceremony for the construction of three court buildings at Gargar Tumam, the Chief Justice said a courthouse is not merely built of bricks and stones but on the hopes and aspirations of the people. Justice Chandrachut said the courts are designed to give people a sense of governance by laws, not by arbitrary decisions. Woka police organised an awareness seminar on the three new criminal laws for the police javans at Pandari police station yesterday. Addressing the seminar, Subdivisional Police Officer of Pandari, Vikato Chishi said the three new criminal laws, Paradya Naya Sanhita, Paradya Nagarik Suraksha Sanhita and Paradya Saksha Atiniam, will reshape the legal landscape in India by replacing the old British era criminal laws, namely the Indian Penal Code, IPC, Code of Criminal Procedure Code, CRPC, and the Indian Evidence Act. The police officer emphasised that understanding the new laws properly will help the Javans for preparedness and implementation of the laws effectively and to handle any case or situation accordingly. Ambassador of India to Ukraine and Ambassador-designate to the Republic of Philippines, Harsh Kumar Jain, today called on Nagaland Chief Minister Nipirio. During their interaction, Rio expressed hope that relations with the countries will be strengthened for mutual benefit. This news comes to you from Akashwani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AI News Kohima. Incessant rain in Nagalin is causing havoc in various districts across the state. In Chesor area, under Shamado district, landslides and floods continue to occur, affecting normal life. The Chesor Hugurwai Annar Valley, which is known as the Rice Bowl for Yumchungas, was hit worst, with almost 60% of the battlefields swept away, as reported by the village council. 
in Duensang District and National Highway 202 between N. Yangli and Mangangki villages has been fully cut off. The BWD Highways has deployed two excavators to clear off the debris since this morning. The District Disaster Management Authority is assessing the extent of the damage. In Gifre District, incessant rains has caused soil erosion, damaging paddy fields along the banks of Tusanki River. Meanwhile, the India Meteorological Department, IMT, announced today that a southwest monsoon has now covered the entire country six days ahead of a normal date. The Weather Office had forecast that the country is likely to get above average rainfall in July as the monsoon has picked up momentum. It is further forecast widespread light to moderate rainfall accompanied by thunderstorms and lightning with heavy to very heavy rainfall over northeast India, sub Himalayan West Bengal and Sikkim during the next five days. Union Minister of Mines G. Kishan Reddy, along with Minister of State Sadish Chandra Dupe, today inaugurated District Mineral Foundation DMF Gallery at Shastri Pawan in New Delhi. The gallery is an exhibition for showcasing the products of self-help groups formed under Pratan Mantri, Kanich, Shetria, Kalyan Yochana and SHG supported by mining companies under their corporate social responsibility. Reddy appreciated indigenous items created by self-help groups. Speaking to the media, he highlighted that the DMF initiative aligns with the vision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi who has directed efforts towards the welfare of the people affected by mining activities. He mentioned that India has over 650 districts with a focus on employment, empowerment, employment generation and the welfare of women and youth in mining affected areas. The Union Minister noted that about 18,000 projects have been completed and assured that more such upliftment works will continue in the coming days. Office of the Registrar of Cooperative Societies has been shifted from AG Colony in Kohima to the new complex at Merima below New High Court complex. This was announced by the Office of Registrar of Cooperative Societies, Nagalin, for general information. The office further stated that all necessary information and mailing address should be posted to the mentioned address. The Indian Army contingent departed for the 13th edition of India-Thailand Joint Military Exercise, Maitri, being conducted from the 1st to 15th of July at Ford Vachira Prakan in Dak province of Thailand. The contingent departed yesterday. Defence Ministry said that the Indian Army contingent comprising 76 personnel is being represented mainly by a battalion of the Ladakh Scouts along with personnel from other arms and services. Exercise Maitri aims to foster military cooperation between India and Thailand. Minister of Electronics and IT Ashwini Vaishnav will inaugurate a Global India AI Summit 2024 in New Delhi tomorrow. The two-day summit will feature a diverse array of sessions designed to delve deep into the critical aspects of AI application, governance and for nurturing talent and scaling AI innovations. This summit marks a pivotal moment for India as it underscores its commitment to fostering responsible artificial intelligence AI development on a global scale. The ministry said that international delegates, AI experts and policy makers will participate in the summit. On the occasion, Minister of State for Electronics and IT, Jitin Prasad, will also be speaking at the inauguration. And now 20 News, here are the headlines again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi asserts that his government has been solely guided by motto of India first. Prime Minister Modi urges National Democratic Alliance MPs to uphold the principles of parliamentary democracy. Chief Justice of India emphasises the core values of justice and equality as foundational principles of judiciary. And Walker Police organises awareness seminar on the new criminal laws for police jabans. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night. 